Hey guys, welcome back. Hope your Friday went well. We did alright today. We're up 253 on the day. About one and a quarter percent. Um, after hours, it's, I don't know, one of these plays is going after hours, not sure. Um, on the week, do a little week recap here. And what a week recap that is. <laughs> yep, we're down 625 on the week. But that's just because this one spy credit spread lost us like 1600. So I think it was about that. 21.9. Yeah. Well, it would have been, I mean, yeah, we would have been up. We would have been up a lot on the week otherwise. That would have been, we would have been up eight, 900 bucks on the week easy. Um, but instead we're down 600. <laughs> But that's okay. It was a good lesson, and these last two days have been pretty good. So today, what did we do? Let's look at the history here. Virgin Galactic, yeah. So space, I bought back the contract. Um, I sold a put on space for fifteen fifty. Space has gone up, so I bought it back for one dollar it expired today anyways but that way I can get my uh, get my capital back to buy more stuff um square yeah I closed my square you know square is kind of a weird one like I was gonna hold it and then I was just like mm, I was gonna hold square for because uh, I think it'll probably hit hit my price by expiration but it was going down it's going down here and I look on this chart I'm like it's consolidating here like it might have a run I don't think it's gonna shoot up so I was like I'll just sell it now if over here in a day or two Monday or Tuesday if it starts to go back up whatever I'll just get back into it um, I could have held it but I don't know I can I mean I can buy it back for the price I sold it for so <laughs> unless it just goes up I guess but yeah, it's kind of too bad I, on this one because over here with this huge green candle with all the volatility, I could have sold it for a lot more. Um, I sold it for $98 a contract, so it was about $200 because there's two of them. And I bought them for $0.55, cents, so we doubled our money. Turned basically $100, $100 bucks into $200. Bucks. Um, but if you can see some of these orders, I had them in for $2. So that must have been pretty close to where they were selling at. So I missed out. This was 220. Or no, maybe that's because I was trying to go max gain on it actually. That's what those orders were for. But I know it was definitely higher. Over here at the beginning of this run, it was it was probably closer to two dollars. But oh well. Um I can't remember if I got into that because of news or why exactly, but if it starts to run again, we'll uh we'll jump on it. I think this is where we bought in right here. So it was low on the RSI. It was consolidating on the moving average and still had this trend up I'm just kind of staying above it this was a pretty heavy support so jumped in had a little run and could have sold it sooner but no problem if there's bad news that comes out I'll be happy I got out of it and then Norwegian cruise lines option to sell one contract so okay so what I did with Norwegian um, I'll show you. Basically, NCLH I have 100 shares of, and my average cost is 16.50. So I sold a call. I sold a call option, so you go to trade and sell call, and then I can sell this because I have 100 shares. Um, so I had a call that expired today, but that call, the call that I had was for $17 strike price. It was for the strike price. So, basically, I would have had to exercise, gotten exercise, and my, uh, would have lost the shares. Which would have been fine, I'm not like long-term Norwegian. Um, however, Norwegian's looking somewhat strong now. And, kind of like, I don't know, I didn't want to cap my, cap my gains on it. So, I actually bought it back. I bought back the Norwegian contract, what I spend. Wait, wait, where is that? 
It's cash, dude. Robinhood is just so ridiculous. Oh, it'd be so much more simple if it just, like, was more complex. And wasn't trying to be so simple. Just... They should give us, like, an advanced Robinhood and, like, a beginner Robinhood. Because I, I appreciate the beginnerness of a lot of it. Like, it helped me to get into it and I learned what was going on. Because it explained everything. But then once you know what's going on, give me give me one where it's laid out nicely like the other brokers. That's more advanced. And it'll look complex and confusing, but once you learn it, then you can navigate it. And eh. Anyways, I think everyone in my videos I'm complaining about Robinhood. $44 per share. So I bought it back and I spent $44. No, spent I spent 70 something. It's not on here. Whatever. I basically bought the contract back. Um, for $76. The premium I collected on it initially was, what was it, $15? I bought it back for $75, so I lost on that one. However, I didn't lose the shares, and I was able to get all the gains from this. So, also, since this had such a positive day today, I wanted to buy it back so I could get, uh, get the gains on NCLH, as well as be able to sell another covered call. So I closed out of the covered call, that I was in for a little bit of a loss. And then I opened up another, another covered call for the 9-4 expiration at $19 strike price. And this one I was able to get quite a bit on. So basically, let's see, out of those two, I think I came out even or close to even because this was a $44 credit. And then the credit on the other one was like 15. I don't know, it was close to even, basically closing out the one for a loss and opening up this one. So basically, because <laughs> with Robinhood, you can't roll. You can't roll out. Roll out? Uh, <laughs> but you can manually kind of do it, but you can't do it on the expiration day. So there's all these stupid, annoying things. Um, like on E-Trade, I can roll up, roll down, roll out, which is basically closing one and opening up another one with a later date or a higher strike or lower strike or however you want to do it. Whoa, all those just disappeared. Um, but on here, I have to manually do it, and then if it's the same day, you can't do it. So, basically, that's how I did it. I bought it back for a loss. Uh, I still have my shares, and then I opened up another covered call for a $44 credit. So now if NCLH goes to 19 which I don't think it will by 94 but it could, and we'll see then. Uh, maybe I'll just let it go, because that'll be pretty good gains by then. But we'll just, I'll see what the trend is doing at that point. Um, so the NCLH, that SPY credit spread expired out of the money, so we collected the premium on that. What do we collect on that? So you, you can't even see, like, maybe I don't know how to navigate this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> all I know is here's the line, it's going up. <laughs> That's all Robinhood wants you to know. <sighs> I don't know how, because it doesn't tell me any gains on what I did on anything, but yeah. So that's what we did today. And I tried to open up a spy credit spread over the weekend, but I was a little uncertain, so I didn't chase it because the spy would kind of was running up pretty crazy at the end there. So I was trying to do a, a call credit, a call credit spread. But I, I'm after getting burned on the top end from that other one expiring in the money. I want to maybe not bet against the spy going up or going down. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you had a good Friday. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like up, sub up, comment down, make your money happy money so it'll stick around. Um, I think of any tip videos this weekend, I will throw them up there. Thank you guys. Bye.